Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Game of Thrones Episode 4. Wrong mother. It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. Great. This bitch is gonna get shanked. Terrible idea. Marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. <laughs> My hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <gasps> Don't believe you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh, you got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. <coughs> <coughs> Ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the Lord... Now what, motherfucker? What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Stop now! You can't do this! Oh, no, I just man. did, bitch! About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton! You flay you, and your sister, and your own fucking family! Let go of me! I did warn you, Griff. 
you can away me. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will... <laughs> <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you sus? I'm gonna crush this motherfucker's no, face in. Stop! Oh! Oh! My eye! Roderick! No! No, you can't! Get out of my way, bitch! I'm not protecting him, I'm protecting Ryan! When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Get out of my way! I can't do that. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. You're gonna kill him anyways, you stupid bitch! Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Find the white hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. God, I love vengeance. Word cannot reach Makes my like balls you. tingle. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. Wait, why do the ravens gotta suffer? Shit. It's fucking rude. I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Okay. You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two again along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck? What do are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking. Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Ha! <laughs> nice one, Beskett. You motherfucker! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <laughs> oh, shit. I'd never work with she a She said you got a thumbcock. Like anyway. What the hell is going on? Gonna lecture me too. Oh. Oh. Bitch, I was drinking my beer, motherfucker. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Uh. 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 You're the only reason uh. I'm even fucking here. And you told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asha. Damn, bitch. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. Is this what you want? Oh, bitch! He's about to have some sex. I can't. Don't talk about it. 
Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it! Get over it! I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Here. Thank you, little brother. The game hoarder knows. I got my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry. like this bitch. I won't she can let drink you with know. a game water anytime. I know you won't. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? We can scissor later. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Fuck that Sarah. little punk. I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. 
This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! It's your gay lover. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate sure, ears anyway. Is clear. <gasps> oh, really? My ears are not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry. I, I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No. I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Stop dealing iron. Hmm. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Check out the view. Oh, it seems so calm out there. Give me some yum yums. Telling the joke, remember? It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Fuck that skink. Let's get some drink, drink. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. His new partner will find out soon enough. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. And the Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crowd, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Agree to stop talking business. All right, Ricard. How about something more personal? Then? Oh, you're calling me Ricard now. Well, when are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I love. <laughs> that took a turn, didn't it? You didn't answer the question. Lord Morgan. Lady Mira. I'm sorry, but I really can't talk now. I'm sure you can find. Then why is it letting me click on you, asshole? Sarah, Lord Tarwick. Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. But that isn't really what Mira is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. What do you know about Lord Andros? Look elsewhere, Mira. That man is married to his gold. And from what I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. I should be going. He's into the cock. Out of trouble, Mira. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister. Oh my Shit. God! This clumsy fucktard. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. 
That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! You need to fuck off, fat boy. Before I kick you in them tiny blueberries. Lady Marjorie. Oh shit. Time to get the fuck out of Dodge. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. Alright? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Oh, shit. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? She's a bastard. Something isn't quite right. But I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. Fuck her. <laughs> not to tell anyone. But Sarah a, is a bastard. I'm a woman. I'm allowed to betray other women. Are you certain? She was born Sarah Flowers. The Tyrells renamed her. Oh, incredibly disappointing. She seems so refined. I was certain she was born a lady. She's still a lovely person, though. And if you really like her... She's a liar, Mira. And she's low-born. I'm afraid my admiration ends here. Whoops! Go back to the cock. Thank you for being honest with me. It was the least I could do. And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. 
You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to undo. Lady Mira? We're gonna hear some shit. I don't think Sarah's gonna be too happy. But, we'll have to wait till the next episode to find out how bad I just fucked over my friend. See you next time.